Come on, Jesus freaking gamer here. Here with the last chapter of Joshua, chapter 24, which means very soon, like tomorrow, we'll be doing Judges. I'm going to take a very popular verse that almost everyone's heard, and I'm going to read around it and give you some context as to what exactly this verse is referring to. So I'm going to start with verse 14 and read from there. Now, this is Joshua speaking. Now, therefore, fear the Lord, serve him in sincerity and in truth. And put away the gods which your father served on the other side of the river and in Egypt. Serve the Lord. And if it seems evil to you to serve the Lord, choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve, whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the river, or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. The part everyone's heard. That one part at the end of verse 15. Keep on going. So the people answered and said, Far be it from us that we should forsake the Lord to serve other gods. For the Lord our God is he who brought us and our fathers up out of the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage, who did those great signs in our sight, and preserved us in all the way that we went, and among all the people through whom we passed. And the Lord drove out from before us all the people, including the Amorites who dwelt in the land. We also will serve the Lord, for he is our God. But Joshua said to the people, You cannot serve the Lord, for he is a holy God. He is a jealous God. He will not forgive your transgressions nor your sins. If you forsake the Lord and serve foreign gods, then he will turn and do you harm and consume you after he has done you good. And the people said to Joshua, No, but we will serve the Lord. So Joshua said to the people, You are witnesses against yourselves that you have chosen the Lord for yourselves to serve him. And they said, We are witnesses. Serving God's a very serious choice. If you turn to Him and then turn away, you're going to face judgment for that. God's going to basically do everything in His power to get your attention and to bring you back to Himself. And as another verse in the Bible says, Google it, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. When you choose to serve Jesus, the Lord, it's a very, very big deal. It's not something to do lightly. It's not something to do half-heartedly. In fact, if someone was just thinking about it and considering it, I wouldn't encourage them to like, yes, accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior right now. Do it immediately. No, that's something that requires the foreknowledge of not just the gospel, the cross, the resurrection, and the fact that Jesus Christ is God. It also requires the foreknowledge of you're going to serve Him your whole life. You're going to repent of the sins that you're in. Or at least you're going to try. You want to. It's a complete commitment to Him. Just as He gave everything for us, we need to give everything to Him. And if you don't, He is a jealous God. Now, the good news, I think Joshua was kind of overemphasizing. Obviously, even in the Old Testament, God forgave sins. That's what the whole sacrificial altar, burnt offering, trespass offering, sin offering thing was for. That's why it was there. So obviously, He forgives. But Joshua was strongly emphasizing. You can't just go into this lightly. You can't go into this half-heartedly. If you're going to serve him, you've got to serve him all out. And that'd be my encouragement to all my viewers, anyone who just randomly sees this, all my freaks who've subbed. If you're going to serve the Lord, that's awesome. But don't do it half-heartedly. And I speak this kind of in judgment against myself. There are a few things in my life that need to be straightened up and tightened up even right now as I speak. So I need to listen to this myself because... It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. And if you turn away from Him while serving Him, it's not so much that He turns on you because like now He hates you. Rrr, whack them all, God, banging you on your head for every sin you commit. No, it's a matter of Him drawing you to Himself. And when you're in sin, when He's trying to draw you back into Himself, and not only is He drawing you back into His love, He's drawing you back into His holiness. And His holiness is painful to sinners. And it sucks, especially when we start paying the price for our own sins. So thank you guys very much for watching. I love you guys, and God bless.